Hey, Trail Riders, welcome back to The Daily Ride. I hope you guys are doing well today. The scriptures that get us through the Bible in a year are 1 Samuel 15, 1 through 16, 23, Psalm 64, 7 through 10, Proverbs 14, 8 and 9, and John 5, 24 through 47. We're going to talk today about easier to pretend. Our focal passage will come from John 5, verse 40, which says, you are not willing to come to me so that you may have life. In Psalm 42, verse 1, the psalmist states, As the deer longs for the streams of water, so I long for you, God. Why do most Christians not long for God in this way? Because to long for God means that we must have, get in touch with a deep thirst that is at the center of our being and acknowledge our basic helplessness. A feeling which our fallen human nature deeply dislikes. Most of us instinctively draw back from dealing with this stubborn commitment to independence, pretending we are all right as we are. It is much easier to pretend we are thirsting after God than it is to face the challenge of giving our commitment to independence. I am conscious of the challenge I am putting before you is one that I want to deny in my own life. There are some things in me that would like to think that I and would like you to think that I have a heart that thirsts for God. But I know that if I stop short of identifying my independent strategies for finding life on my own and giving them up, I will never get in touch with the deep, with the deep thirst that God for God that exists at the core of my very being. So what is the answer? I must ask God to search my heart and expose my self-centered motiv motivations and help me to see just where it is that I stop short of panting or longing for Him. You see, the more deeply we sense our thirst, the more passionately we will pursue water. But we will never sense that thirst until we are willing to face the fact that we may be drinking more from our own self-constructed wells than from the wells of God. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we tremble as we recognize the tendency within us to walk right past the fountain of living water and drink from the well of my own making. But help us to recognize that for what it really is, not just a terrible tendency, but a terrible sin. Father, we, we thank you that you love us. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey guys, for further study on this, look at Exodus 32, 1-9, through 9, Isaiah 28, 12, Isaiah 30, 15, and 2 Chronicles 24, 19. And keep these two questions in mind. What did God describe? How did God describe the children of Israel? What is said of them time and time again? God bless you guys. I hope you'll continually follow me here on the daily ride. And I'll see you on the next trail ride.